Jeff, we're at the intersection of 6th Street and Grandview Street. Police say the victim was crossing the street in the crosswalk right here when he was hit and flew 30 to 40 feet. A few things to notice. This is a very busy road for both cars and people. It's not hard to see how even a second of distraction could be very dangerous. LAPD released this graphic security camera video today. We've stopped it right before the moment an allegedly distracted driver hit and killed 65 year old Young Do Kim as he was crossing the street in the marked crosswalk Wednesday night. A senseless accident that police are blaming on a driver looking at her cell phone instead of the road. As she was traveling about 30 to 35 miles an hour, not paying attention as she was looking at her messages on the WhatsApp on her phone. Sky 9 was overhead just after 8 as police responded to the fatal accident. They've arrested 38 year old Rosario Valdezinda, an unlicensed driver and an LA resident for vehicular manslaughter, and are investigating a report she tried to flee the scene but was stopped by a group of witnesses who got in front of her car. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, distracted driving kills an average of nine people and injures 1,000 people each day. AAA research from March 2018 found four. 45% of drivers admitted to reading a text or email while driving in the last month. 35% admitted to having typed one. The message here today is if you're going to drive and you want to use your phone, just pull over. It's not worth it. It's not worth you getting hurt or you having to go to jail because you hurt somebody or killed somebody. And he added, if you are crossing the street, even in a crosswalk, even in a crosswalk with a light, you need to be cautious. Do not assume that drivers are paying attention and are going to see you. We're live in Westlake tonight. I'm Lori Perez, KKL 9 News. Good morning.